Hello and welcome to Caravan Salon 2020. This is the 2021 range from Euromobile and this is their Integra 890 with a queen bed. Notice how I started from the other side of the van. The reason for that was I couldn't fit the entire van in despite this magnificent wide angle I've got on my uh, camera uh, but because of a wall back there. It's gonna cost 141,350, just under nine meters long, 232 wide, the height of 292. So this is the top of the range from Oromobile and uh, and this version incidentally comes in several uh, this version comes in several versions anyway uh, bed, bed bed layout that's what I wanted to say right for those who ask to see the bed down well that's what it looks like when it is down and as you can see this magnificent enormous table is still in use it can still can be using sit round here drinking while other people are up there snoring in theory anyway um, so we'll see in another van what it looks like with the bed up let's come to the back and admire this magnificent uh, bedroom You've got wardrobes each side of the bed. The position of the bed is it'll go up if you want it to. I think it's just about it's its lowest here position. Just about, I said. And uh, I'll come around here as well so you can see both ends. Put a television there. And close off the door here. The carpet is to protect the floor, obviously. I'll even tr I'll demonstrate this. Comes out. Close yourself in. So, doors closed. What's it look like? Now, sometimes you might think, oh, that looks a bit claustrophobic. Of course, it's a tiny van, so you can't really expect too much. I don't think that looks claustrophobic at all. And, uh, of course, I'm not claustrophobic, so I really need a claustrophobic person to give uh, an opinion on claustrophobia. Let's uh, make a little dressing room here. Well, there's quite a lot of room with this door and this door closed. Although, I do like it when I've got access to my clothes when I'm in this place here. Walk across here. I'm not so keen on bowls like this myself. I'd rather have a moulded one. Anyway, what do you think? Shower's nice though. And there you get your air going. Works on hookup. Although you can get lithium batteries and get with a, a decent bat battery management system, you could actually get the aircon running after 12 volt. Uh, it wouldn't be 12 volt, of course, because you, you have to put them in inverse. Now, in the past, I've tried filming. Uh, this van. In fact, I successfully managed to film the top of the range for the 2020, but in previous years, something nearly always went wrong uh, during the filming. Right, so we've got here excellent modern range, plenty of uh, uh, preparation space. You've got an enormous molded sink. Here, this thing here, probably have one of these drop down coffee things. Oh, you can, you can have a drop down coffee thing. If not, the coffee thing has to stay there and isn't, you drop it down by taking it out yourself. I like the, uh, uh, the extract, I like the hood, it looks, it looks really good. 
this sort of spice rack, I suppose that's really what it is there. It's not a spice rack, is it? It's something for things bigger than spices. Really stands out, uh, the design. And here, I suspect, we have a slide out compartment. Well, of course, it could benefit from uh, maybe if it were to be used for uh, uh, shelves. Obviously, this is meant to be as used as uh, for coats. But nice, very, very nice. All right, big fat fridge with an oven. You know, German van with an oven. But this price range, you can't expect that. I think that looks stupendous. This is nine meters, which is about two more than I want to drive. And it's about 120,000 more than I'd want to pay. <laughs> Let's have a look at it in the uh, dual bed format, the German layout. So this one here is going to cost 136,500. The rest of the dimensions are the same. And I suspect that uh, the layout up front is going to be very similar. Only this one hasn't got the optional bed. So I said we'll see another one with the bed up. Well, in fact, we've got one with the bed out. But, 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 let's, well, let's go at the back before I make any more comments. We'll have a look at the, the, the bed layout. We've seen this before, of course, in other vans. So that's what it looks like when it's made. So look at this. Slats under there. So the storage in the steps. And this is the same, I think, as we just saw. The um, This bench can actually be down or up. The last one was down, I think, wasn't it? Oh, I'm Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. thank you. And uh, that was, I don't know if you heard that, but you said, oh, you really surprised me or shocked me or whatever it was, scared me. Um, so anyway, there you have it. Look what you think of that. Uh, I think it looks much better with the, um, without the bird, you know, bring it a bit closer. Pretty good, eh? Quite smart. Very, very nice. So, top of the range from Euromobile, but they've got some other rather nice vans as well. You can see them in other videos of course it is a little bit on the uh, expensive side oh and there's somebody clo closing it down right now so just got in there in time and which reminds me that i didn't show you the back look at that enormous 
No one was here. You see the body though is the same. Great. So, uh, let me know what you think of that. You like it? Good looking van? Not so good? Uh, write down in your comments below. Thanks very much for watching.